All right, boys, the day has finally come. DLSS is here. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. I'm gonna try and keep this as brief as possible. It's not gonna be brief, who am I kidding? Um, people have been complaining my videos are a little too long, so I'm gonna try and get this done as fast as possible, but when it comes to videos like this, it takes a while to test everything, right? So I'm gonna be doing a full analysis of DLSS here, right here. Um, every resolution, does it work? If it works, by how much? Um, I'm also going to do one thing different here. I'm not going to use my normal settings. Well, I am after the, after the end of the video, but I'm going to be using uh, your boy generics settings. Um, you guys know I do a shit ton of consults, right? So I kind of have a good bar of where most people's computers are at in terms of their optimization and configuration. So the first part of the testing is going to be on a stock 10900K with XMP enabled. That's it. That's that's just like what most people have. XMP stock CPU, right? Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to test here, let's just see if it boosts FPS at all. Um, I'm going to go into the functionality of it later. Like, can you crank 4K resolution? Can you get better visual fidelity? Can you see farther away in the map? Maybe that's a use case for it. Can you enable NVIDIA filters and get that FPS back, right? There's lots of use cases for this. But for now, for step one, I'm going to just see if it boosts FPS at the different resolutions, just to start off. Okay, first things first, I'm going to try and drop downtown. Um, I'm going to do downtown first, just because I know that this is a very CPU intensive area. So my theory being that DLSS wouldn't be able to do anything downtown. But let's see, let's check it out. Let's look in the lowest FPS. Of course I get a bounty on me, man. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's do this quickly. 1080p, we got a high of uh, 180 FPS. All right, 175. Let's turn DLSS on. We're going to go ultra performance. Let's just see. Zero difference. Zero. Okay. Now, let's turn it off. Like I said, it's CPU bound. Let's go 1440p. 2560 by 1440. Apply. Same FPS. Exactly the same. Oh my god, this guy's gonna kill me. Oh. Look at that. That's new. That inactivity thing is new. I wasn't there before, so. Okay, let's point this here. We got, what, 175 max, right? Okay, we're at 1440p. We're going to enable DLSS max. It's probably going to be the same thing. Apply. No difference. Zero difference. Zero. So, God, this game looks like dog shit with DLSS on. I wouldn't enable it. Just look how blurry. I'm not sure if you guys can see on your screen on the recording, but holy crap, is it blurry. Um, Let's jump over to farmland now because that's a GPU bound area and see if it does anything over there. Okay, in farmland here, this is a much more GPU bound area. You can tell because the FPS is way higher, right? So, let's go to 1080p. Turn DLSS off. What do we got? 250, 260. I can already tell what, what just happened there. The other one was 1440p. So, let's try 4K. 4k okay here we go now we got full we, we dropped to 180 fps in 4k in farmland the game looks gorgeous right let's turn on dlss let's do performance mode we already know that our max fps in this spot is 250 right so performance mode right away got us our 250 back in 4k right um let's try quality mode 
250. So based on this area alone, you would never have to use anything beyond the quality setting preset for DLSS if you were to use it. Now, it still makes the game really blurry. Far, even the quality mode makes the game far too blurry to be playable. Um, even, even I'm rendering the game in 4K right now, so you gotta you have to keep that in mind too, right? Quality DLSS, the game has been rendering in 4K, and it's just a blurry mess, right? So watch this, like this is 4K DLSS, right? I'm not sure if you guys can see it on your screen. I'm just gonna assume you can. Now. Let's go to 1080p, DLSS off. The game actually looks a million times better. Oh, like, like not even close. You, you can like, as you know what I mean? You can see people way easier like this than you can with the blurry Vaseline smear, right? Um, okay, so, okay, so what have we established here? Point number one, DLSS does nothing if you're CPU bound which is exactly what I said for, we have a lot of new followers now, but a lot of the OG followers have been saying for months now, and I've been getting roasted online for it, that DLSS will save everybody. Doesn't do shit, guys. This is common sense for, for hardware enthusiasts. This is common sense, all right? This is, this is a CPU bound game. DLSS has nothing to do with your CPU, okay? All right, we're back. So I just enabled my overclocked settings on my PC. So, I mean, you can already tell I'm at 300 FPS, so we're much, much less CPU bound now. So, we should be able to tell a lot more clearly if DLSS can actually push any more frames or not with the CPU out of the way, right? So, I'm already getting 70, 70 more frames than before in the same spot, right? Let's do, okay, I'm just going to lay down here. We're at 1080p right now. Let's do performance mode. Nothing. Zero. So, I mean, I mean, uh, this is literally 320 FPS and this spot is literally the most FPS you can get possible. Possible, right? Um, let's try, okay. Let's try 4K. You can tell that when I actually enable 4K, look at the mountains in the background. They're way more clear when you're actually rendering the game in 4K than 1080p. That was kind of the initial value that I thought DLSS was going to bring, right? So let's try. We're at 185 now. Let's try doing quality mode. And we got our 310 FPS back. So literally the exact same results that we had with the other one. So... You're still bound by your CPU no matter what you do with DLSS, period, right? Okay. Now, it does... Okay, you know what? I want you to pay attention to the mountains right now. When I move the mouse, the mountains get a little blurry. Look at that. They're blurry. That's a DLSS problem. Because it DLSS was not was DLSS was never meant for high FPS gaming. It was meant for like 60 FPS gaming. DLSS runs on the tensor cores. It needs time to process the image and, and spit out uh, artificially enhanced image to the viewer, right? So that's why when you move your mouse really quickly, it's always gonna look blurry. Look at look at the rock look at the rock right in front of me, right here, right? I just move the mouse and it blurs it up. I really hope you guys can see this. I'm not sure if you can, but um, because I can only record in 60 FPS, so it might look exactly the same to you. But trust me, you can test this on your guys' rigs. Just go to this spot, enable DLSS, and just move your mouse back and forth, and the whole screen will just be unbearably bl blurry, right? Okay, there's one more thing I want to test here. Can we clean the image up at all with filters, right? Let's see. Filter. We're just going to put a sharpening filter on here. Ignore film grain. Sharpen 50. Sure. Ooh.
Ooh, that looks nice. I lost 60 FPS, though. Can we move the slider down? Let's try 1440p. No, see, filters are interesting in that way. Filters don't actually hit your GPU at all. It seems like the filters actually... Oh, I, never mind, I take it back. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but when you enable DLSS, it's the exact same problem, even with the sharpening filter on. When you're actually moving the mouse... It blurs the screen. You can't. You cannot use DLSS if you're. If you if you play this game competitively at all, you cannot use DLSS. You're essentially waiting a millisecond for the artificial intelligence to figure out what the screen is supposed to look like. So when you're moving around really quickly, all you're seeing is a blurry mess until you stand still. Then the real picture comes out. So this right here completely eliminates the use for DLSS. Don't use it. Don't use it. It's garbage, period. All right, guys, let's conclude the video here. Now, I know we have a lot of newcomers coming in lately. Um, my channel's been kind of making the rounds, so I know we have a lot of new people here. So for all you newcomers, we have a rule around here in the Frame Chaser community called rule number one, rule number one. Nothing ever changes. This has been true. It's just always true. Don't ever get hyped up for anything. Don't get hyped for DLSS. It's not going to change anything. Don't get hyped for the next next big CPU release. It's not going to change anything. Don't get hyped for the next big GPU release. It's not going to change. Nothing ever changes, guys. Just stop. Don't get hyped. Um, the new Warzone map, the new Verdansk map. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's going to get nuked. New map. Dude, it's it's the exact same map. They reskin to the map. Nothing ever changes. Just 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 once you accept this reality that nothing ever changes, you're going to be a lot less disappointed all the time and a lot of more things are going to make sense. Okay. Moving on here. Okay, moving on here. DLSS Warzone facts. 1 cannot get rid of the blur two should not be used if competitive three will not give you more fps if cpu bound that's i that should be self-explanatory four cannot use filters with out fps loss still this was the only one that i wasn't sure about but that's that's been confirmed now you cannot use filters without fps loss period you cannot do it now five who should use dlss how do i answer this question obviously the simple answer is people who are gpu bound but it's a little bit more nuanced than that you have to ask yourself what is the refresh rate of your monitor? What GPU do you have? What is your current FPS? So I'm going to give one example of a person that should use DLSS right now. Let's say you have a 1440p 165 hertz monitor. These are coming down in price quite well nowadays. They're pretty cheap to grab. A lot of people can grab these nowadays, right? Now, we know that the GPU market is kind of screwed up right now. You can't buy a graphics card to save your life. So maybe you got a 2060 Super or something like that. Maybe like a 2070, right? Now... In stock form, these graphics cards might get you 100 FPS in 1440p. The question you have to ask yourself now is if you enable DLSS quality mode and you get to 165, do you want to take the hit of that blur in order to be able to see the opponent faster? That's a question you got to answer yourself and you're going to have to play with it. So if you do the math on it, 
That's just straight math. 165 divided by 100. Oh yeah, I guess 65. You're so you're seeing 65% more frame. So you're seeing the opponent 65% faster. If that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? So if somebody's coming around the corner, you can see them that much faster. You got to try it. You got to play with it. I can't answer this question for you. It depends on your play style, right? If you're close quarters inside of houses and stuff moving really quickly, maybe DLSS is for you with these GPUs. Um, if you're a sniper and you need to see really far away, you're a car 98 player. You want to see in the mountains you don't really need this you, you need to you need the blur not to be there right so dlss can help you on lower end rigs if you're just trying to get a little bit more fps but if you have a 3070 or 2080 ti or above don't use it period do not use ever just don't use it. it it's too much of a sacrifice don't use it I still encourage you to test it for yourself. Always test everything yourself. Don't believe anybody online about anything. That's just normal rule number two, I want to say. But um, anyway, guys, that's it. DLSS is trash, and I was right out along. So if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, subscribe. Welcome all the newcomers. And uh, stay tuned for more Warzone FPS tips. Talk to you later.